beloveds welcome back to my channel it's your priestess journey divine coming to you on this beautiful quiet evening feeling inspired to do a reading to bring your messages from your angels your ancestors your spirit guides how you doing out there beloved in the land of the living are you feeling good this evening are you feeling fine is your vibe high? Are you letting your hair down? Drinking your wine? Having your smoke? Hugs up with your loved one? In the mood? We got a vibe going tonight, y'all. I normally don't come to you in the evening. But I got a vibe going on, and I'm here. So we are going to do a reading. Yes, we are. You're going to find out why my energy is one of love and of light. When I'm feeling a little freaky, y'all. <laughs> What's going on with journeys tonight, y'all? Is you feeling me? No matter when you get this message, if it's morning, if it's noon, or if it's night, if it's January, if it's September, if it's December, summer, winter, spring, or fall, you are right on time to receive the message that is set for you to hear. God works in destiny, not in fate. So you are meant to click on this video to receive this message of love and positive positivity to elevate your mood, to get those juices stirring. How did your day go? Did you have the day you wished for that you wanted? Did you get some things done? And now you are just in a mood and vibing high. This is a reading for all zodiac signs, every gender, every culture, no matter your spirituality or your religion, no matter your gender, you're going to have to excuse the explosion. It is an early July 4th here on the East Coast. And they have already got those bombs exploding. Explosive. There is something explosive going on in the air. What could it be? Is somebody angry? Is somebody bitter? Is there rage and envy and jealousy all around you? Are you exploding with abundance of fertility, creativity, and growth in your finances, in your home, in your love life? Are you feeling ready for the July 4th holiday? Planning to get together, maybe for that barbecue? That special one. Look at oh, okay. Well, the cars are exploding. You know what? I can't make this up. Five of Wands. Conflict. Challenges. Competition. Definitely explosive energy to start this reading. Someone in your energy. Has been throwing challenges, toxic, toxic energy your way. Someone jealous, envious. This could be a person or a group of people, family, friends, co workers, individuals that you may have walked away from, left behind, made a decision to rest and retreat. In solitude, searching for your inner peace, 
that calmness, tired of those that gossip, drawn kings and queens that love to be in that low vibrational energy. They draw you in and trigger you. Make you the butt of the joke. Because they can't stand for you to be celebrating. We got the three of pentacles. Celebrating. Celebrating a win, a victory. Celebrating all the hard work that you put in. Finally coming forth, cashing you out. Paying off your harvest coming in. They don't want to support you. They don't want to celebrate you. Woo! The fireworks. I wish you could see it. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. Someone is in their feelings. Because they see you coming up. They see you elevating. They see you succeeding. They see you happy, healthy, and thriving without them. They want to be included in the fame, in the fortune, in the celebration. But God says, celebrate yourself, king, queen, god, goddess. You've done the work. You passed the test. You stood strong, unshakable faith. And now it's your season, your wins, your victory. And those that will support you and celebrate with you, they will. And those that won't, leave them where they're at. In the background. Watching you rise to the foreground and become the star you are. Meant to shine. Meant to be acknowledged for your gifts. For your gifts. Maybe you're a chosen one I'm speaking to. A highly spiritual being. Connected with source. A master manifestor, a magician. I'm feeling a high priest. A high priestess. You know how to get that bag. You know how to produce. You know how to manifest. You're multifaceted and multi-talented. And if you have to do it by yourself, oh well then. You were built for that life. For this life. For a tough. Never let them see, never let them see you sweat the small stuff. They want to be gone. They want to walk away. They want to be an enemy. An opponent. So be it. And you rose up. Is my stomach growl? Is somebody hungry? <laughs> somebody you need to go eat and feed yourself, beloved? What did I say? Ace of Pentacles. What did I say? Spirit is about to cash you out. Divine blessings. Inheritance, business thriving, booked, busy, and blessed. Inventory selling out. Books on the bestseller list. That music becomes world known. Signing contracts and deals. Because your intelligence, your intellect, like I said, you're multi-talented and multifaceted. You may be a motivational speaker, an inspirational influencer, a medium, a reader, a healer, Reiki. You may be right inspirational books or design inspirational clothing you work for God you give as you receive you are not stingy or selfish you speak your truth and your truth 
is your coins. Your truth is your bounty. Your truth is your purpose and your wealth. It will be your fertility. It will be abundantly. Abundantly needed and wanted by many. God says you are head. You are the head and not the tail. I will make you a lender instead of a borrower. Divinely guided. A gift from God. Because of who you are. And when you receive this gift. Seven of Cups. Make sure you make all your dreams come true. Make sure you remember. Those dreams. That bucket list. Those desires. Those wishes. Those wants. Fill your cups. With overflow. Nurture yourself. Invest in yourself. And your future. Passive income. Dividends. Residuals. Money that keeps growing and growing and growing. While you sleep. While you simply laid back. Resting. Your money growing because you know how to stack it and where to put it, how to invest it, how to grow it. You see opportunities, you seek them out, and you make wishes come true for yourself and others. And this is why. Impress. This is why, Empress, you are divinely favored by God. Empress represents every queen in the tarot deck. She is a major manifesto. She is successful in whatever she sets her mind to. An achiever. A nurturer. Caring, kind. Empathetic. Cares for others. You may be a single mom. You may be a matriarch of your family. Or you may be just a simple divine feminine. Your masculine and feminine energy are equally balanced. One day you can walk down the street, catching the eye of every student as you are beautifully desired by many. And the next day you can put on that boss energy and be a leader of a team. And make plans and realities come true. The Empress is successful in all she does. And all those around her who acknowledge her for who she is will want to help her succeed. Light energy. Hangman. You may be in hangman mode right now, thinking, evaluating, analyzing, tapping in, raising your vibration, connecting with spirit, planning, working it out, looking towards the future, but live while you're living in the present and enjoying every moment. As you should. Come on now. How much sweeter is it going to get for you, beloved? Singling and mingling. Shining like a new penny. A pot of gold. Manifesting your wealth. Everything just clings to you. You are magnetic at this time. You don't have to chase. You simply attract. And prosperity is attracting to you. Spirit is about to cast you out. Why? Like I said, you put in the work. Eight of Pentacles. 
who did the damn thing. While people were sleeping, you was toiling and laboring and creating. Sowing seeds and placing baskets to catch that manna from heaven. And all your hard work is about to pay off in magical ways, mystical ways, about to be better than you even imagined it could ever be. But this is because of who you are. You manifested, you created, you planted in fertile soil. You didn't go for no scams and no schemes. You don't have to hustle and cheat legitimate hard day's work. Planning, organizing, pulling it all together. Not in one place, two, three, or maybe four different projects at one time. But you held it down. Even while going through all this competition, all this hate, all this envy, all the arguments, disagreements around you, people trying to come against you for simply wanting to build, build your own legacy, to secure your bag for you and your children, your family, your lineage. But they can't do what you do, so they are jealous. They can smell your success and your victory. They can smell your victory. It shines all over you. Wow, this is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Are you getting all, taking all this in, beloved? Three of Cups. Celebrate good times. Come on. Let's celebrate. There's a party going on right here. A celebration for last two out the year. <laughs> yes. Celebrate. You're about to drink fine wine. Not that cheap stuff. Pour it out. Share with people that love you, support you, help elevate you, keep you inspired and strong. You may be, okay, oh, 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 you've got the emperor in control, a leader, a boss. A king, a queen of her masculine energy, building, delegating power to others. An entrepreneur, leadership abilities. Spirit said, It's time, beloved, to get out of that stagnation, that stale mentality. You are a leader. You were meant to be a boss, an entrepreneur. You were not meant to slave and work and build up the wealth of other, of another. Get out there and show the world what you got. When you receive this spiritual inheritance or this inheritance, someone possibly leaving you a large sum of money. And if it comes in the form of someone passing, my condolences. I am a death doula. If this is a situation that comes to pass and you need help getting through, for this blessing may come as a painful passing. My email is below. Reach out. Reach out. Don't go through it alone. But it's time to step into your power. Step into your purpose. Your purpose is to be a boss. To start that business. To quit that boring job that doesn't appreciate you. 
with those co-workers that abuse you, that boss that abuses you, that steals your ideas and then claims credit. Knowing it was all you. You're the brains that keeps everything running. They would not be able to make it without you. Knight of Cups. You will be receiving a gift of love, a new connection, a new relationship, one to elevate your heart. Knight of Cups, stable, secure, something you won't be able to pass up. When you see it, you will know that it's for you, meant for you. Equally yoked. It may not be coming in too, too fast. But when it comes in, divine timing, it'll be right on time. Carefully approaching. Knowing that you deserve the most. For who you are, the empress must have an emperor. Here we come on now. The empress and the emperor. Come on now. This is soulmate energy. A power couple. Husband and wife marriage long term. Long term commitment. Something you've always wanted. An equal partner. In every way. So I want to hold you down. On those dark days. A helpmate. To keep things running. What did I say? Did I say help me? To help you sow those seeds. To continue laboring and building and creating. Manifesting together your dreams, that new home, that new car, relocation, that bank account that grows and grows and grows, that family. If you're the emperor, she got your back like no other. Keeps your mind right. Keeps your belly fed. Keeps your home feeling like a home. If you're the empress, builder. You ain't got a corner why he fixes things. He's good with his hands. He's a boss energy. You never go without. You don't even have to ask because he knows it. He pays attention to what needs to be done and gets it done. Wow. If this is you, well, surely it is you. If you were here, it's because Spirit meant you to see this. This is you. What do we have? We have Aries on the board. We have Libra Taurus on the board. We have Capricorn on the board. Gemini. Aquarius. Got a lot of water. Cancel Pisces, Scorpio. This is how you've been. Possibly for a long time. Bored. Feeling alone. Unfulfilled. Not knowing if love would come. If your finances would stabilize. If things would improve. If you would ever feel energized. Vitalized. Playful. If you ever enjoy life again. After going through some hard dark times. But Spirit says, 
get ready. Get ready, beloved. Those days are about to be over. About to be over. Make a decision to allow this King of Cups to have a chance to show you real love, true love. He is in control of his emotions. He is sensitive, intuitive. He is healing. He is caring, nurturing, giving, understanding, listens. And if you're a king of cups already, if you're a feminine washing, excuse me, <laughs> if you're a feminine washing, the spirit may be telling you it's time to get in your king of cups energy. It's time to level up and take back control of your heart. And your feelings. And how you receive love. To allow love in. To go out. And not sit there and wait for love to knock on your door. Or knock down that wall that you built. That you've been secluded in for so long. Because if it is you. Fam, there is a king of cups. Looking for you. You recently walked away from it all, from relationships, from connections, toxic, trauma, codependency, unequal give and take, drama, arguments, just wasn't it. And you walked away and you went out on your own. Seeking happier times, happier days, a happier life. And you waited. You've been waiting for some time for things to turn around in your favor. To see the light at the end of the tunnel. While you worked in silence, you spent time creating and building and working on your bag, and you might have given up on love, taking it off the table. But guess what, Spirit said? It's time. You manifested this success coming true. You're the magician. And because somewhere in your heart you kept belief that one day you would find your queen, one day you'd find your king. And you turned your energy into gold instead and let divine timing have its play. You are now being rewarded. By the love of a lifetime. When it comes, be open. Be open to new love. Be open to you having anything you want and desire, Spirit says. You want it, you'll get it. It's yours. Whatever you want, whatever you go for, whatever you believe in, whatever you give your heart to, whatever you put your passion into, will surely manifest. Passion, desire, will, intention. You can have it all. Fame, fortune, family, love, a business.
All you have to do is let go of the past. Past hurts, past pain, negative experiences, poor choices, shame and guilt, blame, talking down to yourself, not believing in yourself as much as you should, feeling like a victim when you were not a victim. Those experiences were meant to teach you to elevate. Not to hurt you and keep it low. You are not trapped. See beyond your own vision. Use your intuition instead. When you can't see ahead, when you feel trapped and bound, close your eyes and use your intuition. That gut feeling. That spirituality from inside of you. That says. My life, my choices. My name is victory. Wow, this is beautiful. Your life is about to take a major change. Major turn. For the better. If you believe it, you've already achieved it. You have yet just to receive it. And it's already on its way. Communication about something you've been wishing for, wanting for, desiring for a very long time. You will soon get news about it. An email, a letter, a text, a call. Somehow, something you've always wished and wanted. You'll be finding out about it real soon. What could it be? Whatever it is, it's going to have... It's going to need you to be ready to travel, to make moves around the world. New opportunities, seeking out new opportunities, new vision worldwide. This could be you. This could be that thing you've been working on. This could be your future, known worldwide, books being sold worldwide. What you do being known worldwide, your name up in lights and papers, in the media. People talking about it all across the country. If you desire to travel... Church says it's time to make plans because you deserve it. You earned it. This is the scales being balanced. Fairness. Alignment. Justice being served. Because this is the life you should be living. This card also represents the legal system. It could be that your prosperity and abundance could be coming through the courts. You could be getting word from a lawyer or an attorney, a judge. Libra energy, balancing of the scales. What was done to you in the past probably was not fairly done. You probably did not get what you should have gotten. Cheated. Stole from. They left you out of the equation. You didn't reap the benefits that you should have. What did I say? Capricorn energy, Queen of Pentacles.
You owe this money. You owe this prosperity. It's yours. It's do you. Boss energy again. Expansion. Being multiplied. Expansion. Being multiplied. Your money, your wealth, your abundance, your prosperity. Expansion of self. you expanding. You're becoming who you were meant to be. You are leveling up. Taking your rightful place. Getting what you deserve. Your desire is your passion. Come on. Just keeps coming and coming and coming. You may be getting an invitation to an event. A holiday, July 4th is coming up. You could be getting an invitation to a barbecue, a party, a wedding. A place, a special place. Someone could be asking you to help with the festivities, with the event, your expertise, your knowledge. Get ready to be handling multiple things at one time. But the Spirit says you can do it because you already done it. This is what you do best. Keep it all together. Juggling back and forth between home work, home and work, your business, building your business while you work another job. You have the ability to handle it all. That symbol, that unity symbol. See the symbol above his head on the magician card? It's the same symbol. Smells like success to me. Smells like victory. I'm not going to hold you much more hostage. Final card. How could it end any better? See how it's coming? Prepare. Get ready. Victory has your name written all over it. And it's on its way to rise up and meet you. And take you straight to the top. Sky's the limit. And I had to read the card because I already saw it. Be careful of competition opponents. People coming in to steal from you, to deceive you, to trigger you, to throw you off your game, to make sure that you don't Pull through, complete what's meant for you to, to receive all this abundance, to stop you from what you're doing, to block your blessings, because they don't want to see you progress, they don't want to see you succeed, they, want, they don't want to see you win. But you know that's impossible because the chariot card means you go for it every time. You're a go-getter. You see, you want to go get it, it's yours. That's how you run. That's what rules your intentions. You don't wait to be given. It's nice to receive, but you rely on your own talents and your own will to secure your bag. If this person is an ex, one of these people, one of these people who may be fighting for your love, 
to sit at your side on your throne to be your helpmate, your partner. There is some toxic energy. Be very careful. They may see that you have other suitors coming in. They've been watching you. They know that you're highly desirable at this moment. Vibrating high. Achieving. And receiving. They want to be on the list. The, at the top. But they're in low vibrational energy. Aggressive. Impulsive. No real plan. No real thought. I just want to be there. Choose me. For no real reason other than I want to be chosen. Be careful. With people coming back into your energy that left you and walked and left you behind. They didn't support you. But now they want to come in with the fake love. And act like they want to be your biggest cheerleaders. So they can stand on the stage next to you and say, yeah, I helped them get here. Be careful, beloved. Beautiful reading. Beautiful energy. Thank you. Go ahead and tap that like button. You know you should. With all this juiciness coming through, all this energy I channel, go ahead and hit that like button. It's the least that you can do and all I ask at this time. If you are a subscriber already and you keep coming back, I love you, beloved. Thank you for constantly supporting your girl as the channel is growing and moving. As my ancestors are blocking and removing my haters. Trying to keep me low, triggered, unable to move. Ain't gonna happen because... Yeah, I am, and so are you. 365, honey. 365. So, hit the like button. Support your girl. Subscribe if you're brand new here. You want to join the family. We're hot and happening and full of energy on this channel. And growing. And succeeding. As you can see, the energy I read is the energy I put off. Is the energy within me. A leader, a boss. A see an achiever, a believer, an empress. I am a Capricorn, the Queen of Pentacles. Yes. So while you hit the like button, I'll pull the charm to end this reading. Come on now. Come on now. You got the key. You got the key to that new home, that new car. That new business, that botanica. Yes, you are the key, beloved. To open every door of every opportunity. You are now walking into limitless possibilities. But remember, keys also close doors. If you close them, lock them, throw that kit bitch away and keep it moving. Don't look back on the past. There's nothing left there except misery. Poor, poor memories. Leave, let, leave it and let it go. And move on to your beautiful abundance. Your future looks explosive. There's no way I would turn back now. No way. God's rewards are set in stone. Don't turn back to anything less than that you deserve. For as within, so without. As above, so below. God's will be done. And so should yours. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful evening. Celebrate in advance and glorify his name for what is to come. Get ready. To elevate, to level up, to receive what you deserve. Until we meet again, thank you for your support. If you need to reach me for one-on-one, -on -one, my email is below. 
you want to donate, cash out, PayPal, let spirit lead you. Check out my decks I've created. They are magical and mystical and beautiful. My Amazon wish list, my store, my coloring books, my journals, I write. I manifest. I have many baskets, as you should. <laughs> but until we meet again, beloved, congratulations. You've made it. I say.